Okay, let's take a look at a pattern that we've started noticing on the formulas with uh, hydrocarbons. Remember, a hydrocarbon is a compound that has only hydrogen and carbon. When you have a hydrocarbon that is uh, no ring and no double bond, the no double bond means it's an alkane, and the no ring means it's acyclic. Sometimes we said, we'll call that normal, a normal hydrocarbon. A normal hydrocarbon always has this pattern of carbons and hydrogens. If you call the number of carbons n, then the number of hydrogens will be double that plus 2, 2n plus 2. <clears throat> so if we take a look at a couple of examples here, we can see how that looks. This uh, first case has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 carbons. <clears throat> Eight carbons means that it would be, uh, double that is 16, plus 2 is 18. So C8H18, and if you count all those hydrogens, sure enough, you'll see that there are 18. How about here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine carbons. If you double 9, you get 18, plus 2 is 20. So this is the formula. You can double check it by counting the hydrogens, but this is kind of a nice shortcut to notice so that you don't have to count. No ring, no double bonds, so this will be the formula. And one more example here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. That's C 12. Again, no ring, no double bond, so the number of hydrogens must be Double the carbons, which would be 24, plus 2 is 26. <clears throat> now, what happens if you do have a ring or you do have a double bond? Let's see how that changes things. What if there is a ring? What if there is a double bond? If, it, if there's a ring, we call that a cycloalkane. If there's a double bond, we call that an alkene. And, of course, if you have a ring and a double bond, then that's a cycloalkene. How does that change things? Let, let's look at each one. Let's look at each one. Here you have one, two, three, four, five. Five carbons. Now how I like to do it is to say, if everything were normal, no rings and no double bonds, double five is 10 plus two is 12. Here's how you would always start. Start by saying, how many hydrogens would there be? If, if no double bonds and no ring, and then look and say, oh, we do have a ring, so we subtract two hydrogens. You have to subtract two hydrogens every time you have a ring, because uh, in order for the two carbons to make a bond to each other, two hydrogens have to go away. So that means that the formula of this would be C5H10. This would be C5H10. We can count. I see that there's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But I didn't have to count if I didn't want, because I can. Uh, I can use this pattern. Let's take a look at the next one. It looks like a couple buns are missing here. We'll draw those in. There. This has how many carbons? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight carbons. Ordinarily, eight carbons would have double eight is 16, plus two is 18. Double two is 16, plus two is 18. But I see I have a double bond here. So I lose two hydrogens because of the double bond. That means my actual formula is C8H16. C8H16. If you have a ring and a double bond, that doesn't change anything for us. We'll still do it the same way. One, two, three, four, five, six carbons. Ordinarily, there would be 14 hydrogens. Double six is 12, plus two is 14. But I need to take away two hydrogens because I have a ring, and I take away two hydrogens because of the double bond. 
That means the formula of that compound it will be C6H10. C6H10. And again, if you want to if you want to check it, you can. This carbon has two hydrogens, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. Notice this carbon here only has one hydrogen because it's already making one, two, three bonds. So C6H10. Last example right here. This is benzene. Six hydrogen or six carbons. So ordinarily there would be 14 hydrogens. Take away two because it's a ring. And there are three double bonds. One, two, three. Each time you have a double bond, you lose two hydrogens. So we subtract two for the ring, two more because of the first double bond, two more because of the second, two more because of the third. And that looks like C6H6. This will be the formula for benzene. So this is a nice pattern, a nice um, shortcut to take notice of and take advantage of.